Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Welcome to the science project of DCCPN In this video we are going to explain the controlling of stepper motor by using the C or by writing C codes and uh, also explaining the C code to control the direction and the speed of the stepper motor and also we have to explain the schematic diagram for the stepper motor so let's get started in order to write the C code for the stepper motor we have to list MPLAB XIDE and X8 compiler first you have to write uh, H pragma config F4C internal oscillator. We have to use internal oscillator. This is these are the configuration bit. Watch dog timer is on, power up timer is on, master clear is off, and brown out uh, detect enable bit is on, and code production is on. Code production and bit port data is uh, off, and we are using cluster frequency 4 uh, megahertz frequency. We are using internal oscillator and uh, internal frequency and we have to include xc.h where we are defi defining a switch uh, which is b which is ra3 so we have to write wired uh, it is the uh, type of the fun function uh, this function return no values uh, returning type of function wired uh, there is no parameter n cell is equal to 0 cross 0 0 it means all the uh, digital pins all the analog pins have been used as a digital one and computer is off trace c is output port c initial value 0 and port a initial values are 0 then we are using uh, a step uh, a connector uh, which name has given a step we have defining we have defined and initialized uh, a local variable whose name is step then we have to uh, we have to use a while loop and less loop from here to here as you can see then we are using switch statement in order to control the direction of the stepper motor for stepper motor we have to apply the pulses in a species we have to apply the pulses in a given sequence for example these four bits are these four are the wires mm, to control the stepper motor and we have to supply this in a given direction for example rc0 is 1 rc1 is 0 rc2 is 0 rc3 is 0 then rc0 rc1 rc0 rc1 is 1 on 1 1 and others are 0 then rc0 is 0 rc1 is 1 and other two are 0 so we have to control in this way so we can see here by the schematic diagram here let's take my schematic diagram we can see and this one uh, pulse sequence we have to apply the uh, power to the uh, stepper motor and a uh, given pulses uh, sequence of pulses for step one rc0 is one and other rc1 rc2 rc3 are zero zero then step two rc2 is one rc1 is rc0 is one rc1 is one and all others are zero and low state this only this two are in high state and the third step rc0 is 0 and rc1 is 1 and others are 0 0 then rc0 is 0 rc1 is 1 and rc2 is 1 r3 is 0 mm, and the next one then rc4 and four and the four step uh, only rc1 rc2 is r1 1 others are 0 0 and the fifth step only rc2 is 1 other are 0 0 so we have to apply the power and the given sequence as you can see two inputs are one then one uh, two uh, outputs of the microcontrollers are one one another one is zero and this way we have to apply the power so let's see other course uh, and zero 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 one is uh, port C is equal to one. Then we have to write three because zero zero one one in the binary system, uh, which is equal to one uh, three in the decimal system. Then port C is equal to two. Then again port uh, C is equal to six. Then port C is equal to four. Then twelve. Why twelve? Because we need one one zero zero. The given sequence is required. Another two. Uh, the given sequence is required. Another two. Mm -hmm. 
drive the control the uh, stepper motor then uh, in the same way a the, t the 9 the 0 after that if a switch ra3 is equal to 0 if switch is pressed step plus plus so steps will increase from 0 to 1 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 in this way the the sequences of the steps will go further uh, uh, if the button is not if the switch is not pressed then step minus minus then it will go in a particular coils uh, first when button is not when the button is pressed it moves in the clockwise direction uh, when uh, when button is not pressed when the button is not pressed it moves in the uh, clockwise direction but when the button, the button has been pressed it will move in a clockwise direction so when button is not pressed, it moves in the clockwise direction. But when we press the button, it moves in the clockwise direction. And then we have to write if step is greater than C1, step is equal to 0, limiting to get to C1. So that because in the switch case, we have, we have only C1 uh, cases. For the 8th uh, case, then again we have to start from 0. We have to make a loop which starts from 0 to C1, not 8. So we have to write this condition in order to limit to the C1 and then we have to write if step is equal to 0, step is equal to C1, limiting to 0. When we are decrementing, decreasing, when decreasing from C1 to 6, 6 to 5, 5 to 4, 4, 3, 2, 1 and 0, then it minus will start, minus 1, minus 2. Another to stop, uh, to go to the negative number, we have to write step is equal to 0. So these codes have been installed in the program. Uh, and the microcontroller as you can see here and the microcontroller is now moving uh, this is the pick microcontroller pick 16 after this is the power supply you have to apply the power supply this one the positive wire and this one is the negative wire 5 volt has been applied to the system this is the pick kit this is the driver the driver of the uh, stepper motor and this, this is the microcontroller 16F6716 microcontroller and then I will explain the schematic diagram how it has been connected as you can see here this microcontroller has 14 pins uh, one is connected to the power supply positive 5 volt 14 is grounded and then 4 and 1 is connected by 10 kilo ohm and 4 uh, our switch has been up, uh, attached to the uh, this one 4 1 Four switch, four pin. Uh, we, we, when you press the uh, the switch, it will move in clockwise. When the switch is not pressed, it will move in the clockwise. Then this RC0, RC1, RC2, and RC3 pin 10, 9, 8, and 7 have been connected to the uh, ULN 2003. It is a uh, stepper motor and driver kit module. We have to apply 5 volt, 5 to 20 volt. We can apply this is a negative one. And this is what this is the stepper motor. Stepper motors, there are, there are eight, uh, five uh, pins, five wires. It will treat the stepper motor with the shaft of the stepper motor. So, in this way, it will move, as you can see here. This is the, uh, this is the push button, and uh, now you can see it can move as it is moving in the clockwise direction. It is moving in the clockwise direction. No button is pressed, it is moving in anti clockwise direction. It is now button is released it moves in clockwise direction so as you can see here now button is pressed is moving into clockwise direction button is released as you can see it is moving in the clockwise di clock direction again you can see here into clockwise direction it is rotating this is the shaft of the uh, stepper motor now it is moving in the clockwise direction So in this way we can control the stepper motor by using the microcontroller. These are the st so we can control the stepper motor by using the microcontroller, and we have to write the C codes, and we can also control the speed of the microcontroller, the stepper motor. How can control the speed and the codes? Uh, as you can see here, as the code you can see for we have given a delay, delay of four millisecond, uh, for controlling the rotation speed. If we decrease the speed, the rotation will be fast. If we uh, write here, for example, 4 uh, uh, to 40, uh, 100 millisecond or uh, 200 millisecond, then the rotation speed will be slower. And if we decrease 